Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Just wanted to show off one of my uh, custom projects. Uh, I made this for my brother-in-law who needs it for his work. And what it is is it's essentially a thermometer and a timer uh, hooked up to essentially a NAND function and with a relay and a loud siren. Now this isn't extremely loud at his request. Uh, it's pretty darn loud and it can be modified to be really about three times as loud but it's still obnoxiously loud. Everything's plugged in via a 9 volt adapter. This thermometer will never need batteries ever again. What happens here, let me just explain the circuitry here. Here's one of my custom boards. Everything's controlled with a PIC 18F1220. You plug in, you've got 5 volts regulated on a 7805 which is transferred to the digital clock. Um, and there's an LM317 circuit regulating the, the voltage down to 3.12 volts which powers the thermometer. The thermometer, the interesting thing about the thermometer is that the, the, on, in, the onboard buzzer uh, is uh, when, when the alarm, well, when the buzzer goes off the uh, the voltage is stepped up and it's actually an AC sign but it goes through a piezo tone um, and so what I had to do was I had to uh, rectify using a diode and I had to um, I had to use a capacitor to smooth it and even when I did, we did that the voltage actually went up to about 36 volts it was kinda neat so I had to use a resistor to dissipate some of that voltage down to about 1.25 volts and uh, from there when the alarm goes off when the alarm is when the, when the device is stable, there's about 1.25 volts on the buzzer, and when the alarm goes off, it's about 2.5 volts. So I've got that input. That's obviously not a digital input. Um, so what I had to do is I had to put that that signal line onto an analog to digital port on one of my uh, on one of the I/O ports of the PIC 18F, and I have a search. So basically, it says if the voltage is between these two voltage levels, set off the alarm. So let me just give you a demonstration. I'll plug it in. Now it's going to be a little bit difficult to give you an amazing demonstration here. The thermometer tip is right here. Uh, what ha what's going to happen is as soon as I plug it in, you're going to see an indicator right on these LEDs. If you want, if uh, he wants, what he can do is there's a jumper here on the LED enable side. It's actually labeled on the board. Uh, if he removes that, the LEDs will never go off. But it's beneficial to have them. So I'll plug it in, and it'll basically say, "Okay, we're plugged in. We're ready to go. What's next?" And I'll show you what's next. Okay. So now it's ready to go. As you can see, the clock uh, is going. The thermometer is on. So what I'm going to do, uh, I can actually use this switch right here. Uh, I had to modify it uh, to switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Right now, uh, it's 22 Celsius in here. And once it hits 50 Celsius, uh, degrees Celsius, the alarm will go off. So I want to make sure, I want that to go lower. So I'm going to say, I'm going to bring it down to 27 degrees Celsius. So it's 22 in the room. When the, the temperature in that thermometer reaches, uh, reaches 27, uh, it will activate the alarm. Now, I haven't set this yet, so I, I, what I have to do first is I have to set this, and I have to set the clock. Now, to set the clock, what I do is I press the leftmost button three times. One, two, three. And that'll give me, that. now what I can do is I can uh, set up to 99 minutes, or sorry, 99 hours, 99 minutes, and 99 seconds. Uh, and uh, so what I'm going to do is, in order to change the first digit, I press the rightmost button, five, and then I'll press the middle button, and I'll press one, I'll press button one again, and then I'm just going to keep pressing the middle button, and set it set it for zeros. Now, when I next press that middle button, uh, the alarm or the clock will start counting down. So what happens is, once I press the select button on the main board again, uh, it basically says, "Okay, now we're waiting for a change coming from the thermometer or the or the clock. If the clock goes off first, the if the clock goes off, the alarm will go off. If the thermometer uh, goes off, the alarm will go off. So." It's a very loud alarm. I'm not sure how, how well it's going to transfer to the camera. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'll give you two demonstrations. Right now, I'm going to press the button again, uh, the program button on the main board. And that's saying, okay, now we're waiting for something to happen from either the clock or the thermometer. So I'm going to press the middle button on the clock one more time. 
and once that time elapses, the alarm will go off until I press the, and hold the program button again on the main interface board. Five seconds. And it resets. As you can see, it resets. So now, again, it's uh, it wait, it's waiting for me to reset stuff. Now, the reason why I have to I have a set state is because every time I press one of these buttons on the thermometer, it actually pulses the internal buzzer. So now I'm going to set uh, I'm going to set the clock one more time to one minute, and I'm going to. Uh, set this right now is at 22 degrees in the room I'm going to set the temperature at alarm uh, to 26 Celsius and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the button one more time and set it and I'm going to hold the thermometer so there you have it once you press the button and, and uh, disengage the uh, buzzer it resets and now it's ready for me to set again. So what I'll do is, I've still got 43 seconds on my clock. Now I can stop that if I want and uh, reset it. Um, but yeah, 32 degrees. I've set it for 32 degrees. Right now it's at the thermometer says 28 degrees, 27. It's going back to room temperature. So. I'll activate it again. So now it's waiting for either the alarm to come off the clock or it's waiting for the temperature to reach 32 degrees Celsius. And so again, let's try to let's see which one goes off first. 27 degrees, 28, 28, 30, 31, 32. And there you have it. Now this is going to go off. The uh, clock alarm is going to go off. And it's a little buzzer, the little onboard buzzer. But that only goes on for about three seconds. Now, because we haven't set it, we haven't set this, again, we have to press the button after we power it on. Uh, the main alarm did not go off because it was not in set mode. So, again, it's essentially an AND function. Uh, the thermometer, if, once you have the thermometer set and the clock set, you activate everything, and then you press the... Uh, and then you press the, um, the main program button on the main interface board and it starts looking for uh, either one of those signals and as soon as it receives either one of those signals the alarm goes off so I'll just hold this one more time 28 29 I have it set for 34 so 30 31 32 33 34 thanks for watching everyone hope you enjoyed it